Thanks. And so let us talk about this, this concerto that we both love, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we both commented that early on it, uh, it is considered a student work, that, that it's something that a lot of yeah. high school students uh, approach. And you were talking about the Mendelssohn Violin Concerto also a comparison, yeah. suffering from that uh, kind of early. And Mozart, unfortunately, sometimes you know people start Mozart early. That's a crime, I would say. Yeah. Yes, it is a crime. <laughs> it is a crime. It is a crime. So why don't we talk a little bit about the Bruch Concerto, which um, is, is an amazing concerto on so many accounts, but I think suffers again from this kind of second tier uh, status. Yeah, that, that's true. I, I remember uh, particularly it was the Mendelssohn, but uh, let's speak about Bruch exactly. Um, I was um, playing some concerts in my school time. We made also like um, the, the school organized the trips for some uh, students, who, to, uh, pupils to play with the orchestra in different cities of Russia. And Bruch Concerto was very popular. So maybe that was a little bit of reason like pupils play Bruch Concerto and, and by the age also of um, what well, that. The conservatory age, and like 20, 21, they say, ah, yeah, but this is the concerto to play at the age of 12, so it's really yeah. no problem. Well, um, I was uh, also, I, I heard, uh, did, did you hear about uh, Brooms, uh, uh, <laughs> Bruch uh, as, a, as a little Brahms concerto? Did oh, really? you hear about this? Uh, no, yeah. I didn't. Who said that? Yeah, I don't really know where it comes from. Maybe because of the third movement. Yes. Because there is there's a kind of similarity. feeling similarity. Yes. Yeah. Kind yeah. of swagger and, 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 and exactly. a hero, heroic element. Right. Too. And the uh, Terzin also. Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. The, the, the thirds and the yeah. 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 I think this is this is much less offen offend um, to offend than to say it's the pupil concerto. <laughs> Right? Yes, right, yeah. right, right. Oh, yes, 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 uh, yes, yes. So that was quite an interesting... Um, it's, a, it's a profound yeah. concerto, that, you know, the, the way that it begins, you know, yeah. with the timpani roll, and it's almost like a film, a curtain coming up on the stage, and then the woodwinds introduce almost like a, like a narrator in a play, and then, and then the, the violinist takes the stage and has a little cadenza, and starts starts directly with the cadenza. I mean, there's yes. a few concertos start like Very, this. Very. Yeah. I, I, I can't even think of one that begins with a cadenza. <laughs> no, there is. Really. <laughs> not the Brahms. Not, no. the, not the Tchaikovsky. Sibelius, uh, no Sibelius. And, you know, I mean, Beethoven. No, no, no. no, no there's a Beethoven no, orchestra. No. No. Some, some Beethoven piano concerti, perhaps. But, yeah. not, but, but not a violin mm -hmm. concerto. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's so many things exactly. that in, in, in Brook actually perhaps wanted to call it a fantasy instead of a concerto. And I think the great, was it Joachim, who, who, who did the second performance? Definitely Joachim. Yeah, Joachim. He yeah. said, no, Definitely. don't call it a fantasy. It, it's mm -hmm. a concerto. Mm -hmm. Don't make mm -hmm. it sound frivolous and light. Yeah. It is a concerto. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. I remember my father practiced uh, Bruch Concerto quite a lot. Uh -huh. And I was little and was listening from the other room and I don't know, look, I maybe was eight or nine years old, and I was asking my father, look, this concerto sounds fantastic, uh, can I play this now? And he told me, well, at the age of eight, you are not ready to play to play this concerto. Why? No, but you are not able, like, the, the deepness, the patience of this music, it's too early. And then, like, at the age of nine, ten, uh, Father, may I play Bruch Concerto now? <laughs> no, you are not ready yet. <laughs> but when? <laughs> it's really, I was like asking. So it has something. I mean, it's yes. not a concerto for little violinists. No. <laughs> no, no. I mean, the second movement is the most most haunting and yeah. most profound. It's not just an adioso, you know, simple, beautiful melody. It's, mm -hmm. It is of intense personal exactly the the second movement is i think the most one of the most famous i think they made in in germany like a few years ago they asked people in the the first radio program they asked just in the classical music program um i don't know in english what you say when they ask uh, what would you like survey survey what you like to be played yes. at the definite uh, evening time mm -hmm. and most of the people voted for the second movement of Bruch Concerto. Oh, yeah. wonderful, yeah. wonderful, so wonderful, interesting. Yeah. wonderful. And then the third movement is so lively and athletic and, and uh, yeah. it's yeah. just yeah. Hap it's, it's happiness. Mm -hmm. Sure. It's, it's pure happiness, yes. And yeah. then they actually run until the end, till the very end. Uh, the yes.